the one thing I've definitely noticed is since I'm so close to taco upstairs neighbors, I'm going to kill them. It's every day. Every day it's like this. Hey guys, it's been an embarrassingly long time since I've been on YouTube, so sorry. But also, I have moved across the country 2,000 miles, so there's a kind of good reason, right? Yeah? I actually moved uh, all the way to Los Angeles, California, and it is awesome out here. There's hot weather every day, it's always sunny, and people complain about the hot weather, but I'm all about it. It is never cold. Um, but I've also been here for only like three months, so I haven't like experienced the winter here yet, which I'm sure is going to be great. But um, I love the hot weather, and also I've learned that being a Midwestern out here is pretty interesting. It is different in a different world and I've learned things from people and it, it's so crazy to me so I thought I'd share my stories with you and what it's like being a Midwesterner in LA. One thing I've noticed about living in LA, it's a driving city which is very weird to me from being in Chicago. Chicago I had no car, I took the public transportation everywhere. The public transportation out here, uh, there are only buses and they have their own uh, roads which is really interesting but uh, Word of mouth is they are still never on time, they just show up whenever they want. So I still have not ridden the transportation system, and I have a car now, so I don't see why I should. Another thing I've noticed is, since it is a driving city, Taco Bell is really close. There are a few near me, uh, less than 10 minutes away, which is awesome. And the thing is, I eat Taco Bell probably as much as I do authentic Mexican food, which you can find a lot of here in LA. There are a bunch of food trucks uh, with tacos, like, you know, quesadillas, stuff like that. Stuff you can get at Taco Bell, but it's way better. It is so, so delicious. One thing I have noticed is my sensitive little mouth cannot handle the mild salsa that is here in California. The mild salsa is more like a, holy crap, my mouth is on fire, somebody get the fire department. And I am not used to that. Even though I have access to authentic Mexican food, I still get Taco Bell as much as I do the Mexican food because it's available and I love Taco Bell too much to just give it up for authentic Mexican food. But they are pretty equal. They're both really cheap, they're really affordable. One probably won't send you to the bathroom and one definitely does. Um, Taco Bell doesn't affect me that way though, so just saying for general people that's how Taco Bell goes. But uh, yeah, authentic Mexican food, Taco Bell, beautiful combination. A really weird thing I noticed is the way people pronounce Reese's. Uh, I don't know how many people in the Midwest pronounce, I know several several people who pronounce it Reese's and apparently it's, I can't like think of like the correct term, uh, Reese's? Reese's, I think. That's weird. It's like word vomit, it's not comfortable. <laughs> so Reese's is not pronounced Reese's out here in California and that's, that's really weird to me. <laughs> People who have been residents of California all their life and who have never gone outside of California think the Midwest is uh, the mountainous range, which is not the case. Uh, I'm from Indiana and it is as flat as a, flat as a, although we did drive through Texas and I didn't think no, it was another state that I didn't think could get any flatter than Indiana, and it did, but Indiana's still a really flat place. So it's funny to me how people out here think that they want to go and explore Indiana, and it's like, do they have mountains? And no, it's just, it's just fields. It's nice. It's very nice in Indiana. It's a nice country, open, but there aren't any mountains. There are mountains out here in California, I get to see them every day, and it is so, so amazing. I've always imagined on like a rainy day where the clouds sit super low and they're dark, and I just imagine that they were mountains, and I would want to be that close to the mountains, and now I am, and it is absolutely incredible. I also went to school in Chicago, and I also heard that, well, from some people, the idea of a Chicago deep dish pizza is horrifying yet magical because it's like a pizza pie and some people will say oh you'll get a heart attack just eating it you can only eat one piece i mean your heart probably won't thank you later but it is amazing and it's just hilarious to me that people think it's oh it's such a big pizza it'll, it'll kill you no it's just a pizza it's just about that thick you can only have one piece to fill you up so I have not experienced winter here yet, like I said earlier. It is only September now, I've been here since June, 
and uh, it's amazing to me that ice cream shops will be open all year round. Back home, they're only open for the summertime, obviously, because it gets cold, there's snow. You can't keep it open because people don't want to go to ice cream when it's, when it's cold out, but it's always hot here. It's always hot here, and that is just, I, it, winter's gonna be crazy. I'm just not expecting it. I, I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, it's gonna like snow. It's not. It will be when I go back home, but no, it's never gonna snow here. And then it's, oh, it's like my, my little, my little dream come true because I've always been born a summer girl and I will always love summer. And California is just my perfect little world and I love it. Also, the tales about the traffic out here, it is that bad. It's not because it's packed all the time. If you're in a big city, you're always going to have a lot of traffic. It's the fact that people don't know how to drive or use their blinkers. And that really, really, it's... I get more than angry, it's it's a it's a pet peeve now, like it is an immediate pet peeve. Because of LA, because people don't use their blinkers, I it's now a pet peeve of mine. People just love to merge without using their blinkers, people love to stop randomly. When there is uh, probably a mile of empty space in front of them, it's like what are you doing? That's honestly the only thing that aggravates me about LA, is the traffic, because people don't know how to drive, and I, I don't, I don't understand, I don't get it. I don't. Another thing that is associated with the driving is parking. Parking is horrendous. Horrendous. No matter where you go. Well, it's more horrendous in more spots than others. Basically, you need to leave an hour early to try and find parking. Well, not an hour early. But you need to leave oh, pretty much more than you need to just to find parking because everybody knows how crappy the parking is. It's, uh, it's not fun. But honestly, those are the two most only annoying things in LA, is the parking and crappy drivers. They just, it's, it's ridiculous. But my favorite thing about LA is that it's never really humid. And of course everybody knows out in the wet, well, actually I didn't know this until a few years ago, but out west it's all dry heat. So, um, it actually rained today, so that's giving us some humidity. But other than that, like, it's usually really dry. Also, it's been raining. Uh, it's probably rained at least five times since I've been here, and a good two times. Like, there's been one time it was really good. Today was another really good day. Um, there's been like three other times where it just sprinkled for about 10 minutes. But LA's getting more rain, and I'm hoping that'll fix our drought. Also, the drought is a really big deal. If you go past the majestic LA River, it's usually empty, or just little trickles of water. And it's kind of terrifying because uh, the state of California is actually having water. The farmers are actually sucking the water out of the ground to uh, take care of their plants. And it's making the state of California shrink, which is not, not really great at all. No. Nope. Anyways, those are the things I've noticed and that people have told me. And that's basically what it's like being a Midwesterner in LA for three months and going. I'll give you any updates if these stories keep coming and I've learned more things. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!